Anyone that follows politics knows that politicians often say stupid things. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? Leading tech companies like Anthropic, and, and I'm going to mispronounce. I'm not going to even try. Heck, even my hometown is famous for having a crack smoking mayor. Crack cocaine. Do I? Am I an addict? No. When have you have I tried it? Um, probably in one of my drunken stupor. And everyone in Japan knows that some Japanese politicians say ridiculously stupid things. I made a previous video about this as well, so please check it out. Well, it appears they are at it again, and it comes from, no wonder, a member of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party, or the LDP, or Jiminto, as they are known in Japanese. Now, for a bit of background, the LDP is anything but liberal, and it has been the dominant force in Japanese politics since its establishment in 1955. If you can recognize any famous Japanese prime minister from that period, like maybe this guy, Yasuhiro Nakasone, or this guy, Junichiro Koizumi, or more recently, this guy, Shinzo Abe, then you are familiar with the Liberal Democratic Party. Just to put this story into context, members of the LDP are currently embroiled in some major kickback scandals, which are making the headline news every day and putting the LDP in major defense mode. They are facing a very serious crisis over allegations of underreported funds from party factions. These funds include kickbacks and off-the-book revenue from ticket sales for fundraising parties. What exactly are these tickets that they're selling? Lawmakers, factions, and political parties in Japan host fundraising events as a way to increase revenue through selling admission tickets to events. A ticket will usually cost around 20,000 yen. And profits, after excluding the costs for the venue, meal and drinks, etc., go to the organizer. For factions, large-scale parties are their main source of revenue. They often attract several thousand participants, resulting in hundreds of millions of yen in ticket sales. Businesses might purchase dozens of tickets to become better acquainted with the lawmaker, faction, or political party hosting the event. In short, these events and ticket sales generate a lot of money. This scandal came to light when it was revealed that major LDP factions, including the current Prime Minister Kishida's, failed to report millions in revenue over several years. The situation escalated when it was disclosed that the largest LDP faction, led by former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, allegedly generated around 100 million yen in unreported income from ticket sales, with surplus cash given as kickbacks to lawmakers. Tokyo prosecutors are now investigating the matter, which could spell trouble for Kishida if any cabinet members or party executives are implicated. Kishida has taken steps to address the crisis, instructing the party to halt fundraising events and planning to step down as leader of his faction. Key members of Kishida's cabinet and party, including Chief Cabinet Secretary Hirokazu Matsuno, are under scrutiny, with potential further investigation looming after the Parliament session ends. So, amidst all this, most recently, Kishida, who is also the LDP's party president, was grilled by lawmakers about a gathering of ruling party members which was held in November in Wakayama Prefecture. Footage leaked from the event showed women in what appeared to be swimsuits dancing and sitting on participants' laps. The women were reportedly called glamour dancers and were told to use their mouths to receive cash tips from some of the attendees. One of the organizers and deputy head of the local LDP youth wing, Tetsuya Kawabata, later sought to defend the event by saying that the presence of the go go dancers were intended to ensure diversity. For those of you who don't know, 
According to the Oxford English Dictionary, diversity is defined as the practice or quality of including or involving people from a range of different social and ethnic backgrounds and of different genders, sexual orientations, etc. Kawabata was quoted as saying, We invited the dancers after studying from various viewpoints, including whether it matches the theme of diversity. However, the excitement that ensued, particularly towards the end of the social gathering, exceeded my expectations. Oh, yeah. What? Diversity? Yes, you heard it right because nothing screams diversity like women in swimsuits dancing and sitting on laps with cash tips being stuffed into their mouths, right? Bravo, Mr. Organizer, bravo. Surely he could have made up a better excuse than that. Unless he really believed it. Really? Maybe that's even worse. What do you think? To follow up on the story, Takashi Fujiwara, 40 years old, a House of Representatives member in the Liberal Democratic Party, resigned as director of the party's youth division, and lower house member Yasutaka Nakasone, 42, also stepped down as acting director of the division the same day. Although they are stepping down from their positions, they will still remain party members and lawmakers. It looks like Kawabata, however, has resigned from the party altogether. Naturally, the LDP were quick to announce that no public funds were used for the gathering. Yeah, right. Prime Minister Kishida himself, when grilled by opposition MPs, said that the event doesn't match the cabinet's goal of diversity. What my cabinet seeks is an inclusive society where all people feel the meaning of life with their dignity and diversity respected. The episode is particularly embarrassing for the LDP as it seeks to get more women into the male-dominated world of Japanese politics. Kishida in September increased the number of women in his 20-strong cabinet to five, a joint record for Japan. Kishida, in office since October 2021, is due to face a tough internal LDP leadership election battle in late 2024 ahead of national polls due by 2025. Let's just hope their next attempt at inclusivity involves less lapsitting and more, well, actual diversity. Well, as always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as push that notification bell to never miss more tidbits from Japan.